Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the charts from Google Trends because I've seen uh, not, many, not many people have been talking about this for a long time now. So let's take a look at these charts and see what information we can get from them. Uh, but before I start, of course, you don't uh, make your decisions based in one single source of information. So me personally, uh, how I take these charts, it's only, uh, it's only an extra, extra information that I add to my individual uh, technical analysis on the specific coins that I that I am invested in. So this, I take this as a, some extra information, not as my only source to make my decisions based on. So with this said, let's get into it. Uh, the first uh, search term that I have here is altcoins. And as we can see, uh, we picked here and uh, what Google expects is uh, this term to trend down. Uh, of course, this is not 100% uh, reliable data. It says here these values uh, for the for the values for this point have partial incomplete data available. So it's not 100% reliable, but this is what it's expected uh, according to Google uh, for how you know where the trend is going to go to. So altcoins are downtrending or expected to trend uh, down for the next month or so. Now, the next term that I have here is cryptocurrency in general, and we can see it's at a top here. So the previous top is all the way down here in September. Uh, remember that we had the, the red September here for the whole crypto market in general, and it went down for the whole month of September here. I, remember, I still remember I made a video uh, the 1st of September, and the title was Red September. So uh, the month of September was expected to be bearish, and it was, and then at the end of September, it started to recover. So what I can read here, how I would interpret this data is that we are at a top for cryptocurrencies, and I expect uh, this to come uh, down now, because this is way, way high, compared to the previous high here. So in other words, it's not safe to invest in cryptocurrencies right now. It's always safer to invest when we are at a bottom, you know, when we are um, at low levels, not, not, not on tops. The next term that I have here is Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, it's attached top here as well, and it corrected already a lot in terms of Google searches. So it's corrected, now it's bouncing, but this is not a sign of a reversal or a recovery. I would read this as a little bounce before going uh, lower. So I would say Bitcoin is, uh, it's corrected more than, more than halfway already, but it still needs to correct a little more. So I still find investing in Bitcoin, I still find it risky. Let's see what we have next. This is Ethereum. So Ethereum, it's a little bit different because even though we are at a high here at a top, this is actually a double top, even though we are high, this high here, it's not so much higher than the previous one. So this was the top in June. Uh, if you remember, we had this altcoin boom from May to June and Ethereum topped uh, the 11 of June, more or less. And after that, it went into a bear market. And now it just... Uh, completed this Markle cycle and it started to trend up again and it just only broke the previous all-time high very recently uh, on this specific chart for you know for the search term on Google it just broke this trend just broke the previous all-time high which means this is not high enough for this to be a top I think this is only the beginning of a new trend for Ethereum, for Google searches. So I think people from here, people is gonna start searching more and more for Ethereum on Google since Bitcoin has all these problems with unconfirmed transactions, high fees, etc., etc., and all this drama. I think it has a big potential to become, you know, the number one or the favorite cryptocurrency from here on. So I think this is actually, even though it looks like a top, I think this is a low level you know, to start investing. I think it's like when it was here in this top here, it was just this top here, 
it was not high enough compared to the previous top for this to be a top, right? It had to be much higher. It only corrected a little bit before the actual uh, and real breakout. Again, not in price, but in search, uh, in searches on Google. Now, uh, what we have uh, next here is Ripple. So Ripple touched top in Google searches and now it's downtrending and it, according to Google, it's expecting to continue to downtrend here. So not, not very interesting. Next one on is Bitcoin Cash. So Bitcoin Cash topped here in December. 2017 and then it crashed all the way down and now it's down like very near the bottom so it's always safer to invest in things when the price is low you know when you are in the lows and not when you are in the highs even though this uh this trend can continue to go down a little more it's not as risky, you know, buying here, it has much more potential in the upside than not in the downside. So it's always less risky to buy on the, you know, on the lows at the bottom than not buying uh, the tops here. So that's what I have for Bitcoin Cash and now Litecoin and IOTA. So you can see uh, these two, uh, like many other altcoins, they've gone up a lot uh, recently in December 2017. They peaked here and then uh, they went down in terms of search, uh, you know, Google searches, not in price again. So it's trending down on Google. They are trending down on Google. But again, it's like what I said for, for Bitcoin Cash. They're so low here in, in Google searches. They're so low that it's difficult that it's going to go down much, much lower. Now, what I would expect, because we know how uh, crypto markets are, they go up a lot and then they go down a lot and then they go through long bear markets. So I would expect this to basically go sideways here until the next cycle, you know, until the next uh, market cycle. So I think they just stopped. Uh, sorry, I think they just bottomed here in Google searches, these two. Uh, and now they need to go sideways for some more time. In other words, they're going to be ignored. People is going to ignore them for some time until the next uh, hype cycle, which uh, it's similar of what I think about Bitcoin Cash. But I think Bitcoin Cash, it's been ignored already for some time here. So I think the the time uh, that Bitcoin Cash is going to be ignored, it won't be as long as other altcoins. I think Bitcoin Cash has been ignored for quite some time now, and I expect it to be ignored for some more time when it comes to Google searches. But at some point, it's going to start, you know, pushing up again. So it's not so uh, risky to invest here because it's, this is a bottom. Uh, same for Litecoin and for IOTA. They are very close to the bottom, not as much as Bitcoin Cash, but it's the, the same general concept here. Okay, guys. So, and another thing, this premium video that I made for the, the four coins that I bought on this dip, I revealed one of them in my last video. One of them was EOS. Uh, it was my number one on the, on the list of the four coins that I bought on the dip. So EOS was one. I said in that premium video that I was uh, I was going to review those four coins in order of importance. So the number one is the more bullish and the number four is the less bullish. But they are uh, the four of them are uptrending anyways, not like Bitcoin, as you can see here. Bitcoin is very clearly downtrending and my other four coins are uh, clearly uptrending. So EOS was my number one, but uh, the other three have very, very similar set, similar setups. And they have pumped, obviously, like the rest of the market, they touched this bottom and they everything started to, to pump like crazy. And then they had uh, another correction and now the price is deciding what it's gonna do. So this, uh, so I released this video maybe five days ago, maybe four or five days ago, more or less. So if you bought the video the day I released it or the next day, you were good. You were fine to buy because it was here at this level. So that was a perfect level to buy. Now, the third day, it pumped already a lot. So you would ideally, you don't want to buy when it's pumped already. But now the next day it corrected. So now we are again in this uh, at this point where it's good to buy. I said on that video is good to buy any time when the price is uh, near the moving average, the 20 day moving average. So EOS is a little bit high, higher from the moving average, but the other three coins 
uh, they are very, very close from moving average. And what I expect from these coins, I said that in the premium video already, but I'm going to repeat it here. So I expect, I expect the prices of these coins to be above and above and below the 20 day moving average for some time, which means I expect them to be <clears throat> going sideways or uptrending, but very, very slowly until the next breakout. So these entries are going to be valid for the next days or weeks. Uh, that's what I expect, unless of course they break down. And if that's the case, then you should have a stop losses, of course. And the stop loss should be, uh, somewhere around, uh, the, the level of this, uh, of this dip here. So a little bit, yeah, right at the level of the dip, uh, you can, you can set your stop loss there, there for the four coins, um, that I, re that I review in this, uh, premium video. So I think that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.